In this video, I'm going to share with you my experience with uh, building an XE framework which should be compatible with an M1 machine and an Intel machine. So M1 um, has a different architecture, ARM64, and then for Intel, it's eight, uh, x86-64, especially when you're running your app on the simulator. So they should have a very specific um, build for these um, machines. So I went ahead and then created the Swift framework for iPhone for 8664, which is for Intel and an ARM64 simulator framework for Intel machines. So I went to the terminal and then um, use the Xcode build command to create an XC framework and then hit return. After hitting return, I have this error. It says that the 864 and ARM64 simulator represent two equivalent library definitions, which means to me that I could not use um, two of them in the same XE framework. So the option that I have is to create an XE framework that is compatible for the M1 and another one compatible with Intel. But then that's not a good idea. So since I know what I need to do is uh, I just need to combine these two um, simulator frameworks into one big fat simulator framework, which is combining the 64 or 8664 with the ARM64 and then use it when I'm creating the XE uh, framework. Right now we're looking at a working example of our demo application. It's an iOS app that's just uh, using the ABC framework, which I created. And uh, in the view controller, we just import the ABC framework and then called the print uh, class method. And it should print in the debugger this uh, very simple text that says, say your ABCs. And then what I did was just added this framework and you would see that in the frameworks libraries and embedded content the framework is there and then it is embedded so that when the app ships then it will also have a copy of the ABC framework with it. Our ABC framework is just a very simple um, uh, framework with uh, Objective-C as the primary language and then I have this uh, ABC framework class with the class method that will just uh, print the text that you have seen earlier. So um, in the later section, I'll show you how we would create different versions of this framework for the iPhone or iPhone OS and then for the ARM64 or for an M1 or for an Intel machine or x86-64. In this section, I will show you how you would build the frameworks that we will be using in creating our XE framework. So I'm in the terminal and I'm going to paste um, a command that I'm going to use to build the framework. So we are using the Xcode build and then archive and we are using this the ABC framework scheme um, which, if you remember, is the, the name of our framework and also the name of our scheme. The archive path is an argument wherein you would tell um, or set where you would want the archive to be saved. So I set it to the builds uh, directory, which is uh, two directories up um, in reference to the current directory. And then I'm building for the iPhone simulator which is indicated by the SDK argument and then the architecture 8664. So I'm going to hit enter. And then our build su succeeded. Now I'm going to do the build for the ARM64 iPhone simulator. And this will look similar except for the architecture which is ARM64 and I hit enter and then 
this should also build and then the next one we are going to build for the iPhone OS or for the device and the difference would be in the SDK argument it would say iPhone OS and then now I'm going to hit return and this should build the frameworks for uh, the iPhone and then if we look at the builds directory here we have uh, generated uh, three archives so these archives um, you can navigate into these um, folders or archives and then go to products to locate the frameworks that you have built and you can see we have ABC framework dot framework and then uh, this is our binary the headers which is uh, our header for the framework and we are going to work on combining this binary with the other um, binary or architecture binary architecture uh, so that we'll have the fat uh, binary which will be part of a framework all right and then uh, later on we will be combining uh, these two simulator frameworks into one uh, simulator framework so that we would be able to use it in our final XE framework now in this section I'm going to show you how you could merge the two simulator frameworks into one binary um, it's it's very simple we're going to use the lipo or lipo command to create the new binary already went ahead to organize the frameworks into folders this uh, directory re represents the iPhone uh, simulator or iPhone uh, framework which you could see here and then for the ARM64 here and for the 8664 before you could start with merging the frameworks we just need to prepare our uh, destination framework so it's the framework that we are going to use later for the or for when building the XE framework um, though it's not really necessary um, but then um, it's better that we do it this way so that it's uh, simpler and it's, it's going to be more convenient for us so right now I'm just going to paste the uh, command to merge the two frameworks and then I'm going to copy one of the frameworks here and then if you notice I have a universal uh, simulator or sim uh, directory for our uh, fat framework so I copy and pasted either it, it could be either uh, the ARM64 or 8664 so this is like you know represents the other frameworks but then the only difference is that um, compared to the other simulator frameworks is the binary because the binary is for specific architecture so I'm going to delete that and then the fat binary will end up here since that's how I set up my terminal command so our terminal command starts with uh, lipo and then create and then we indicate the output of our uh, uh, binary which is this is the name of our binary and which refers to this uh, directory and subdirectory which is the framework and then we'll end up here and then our reference binaries or the binaries that will be merged into the output are coming from these other two directories or other frameworks so if I'm going to hit enter it should already create the binary or the fat binary that we're after and this is um, uh, this is the result and if we look at the size of this this is 167 KB and then if we compare it with the previous ones which is specific for one architecture it's 69 KB or less than our fat binary 
and if we look at the other one it's 69 so the reason for that is uh, why we have a bigger uh, fat binary it's because we have combined the two binaries and if we want to explore how many architectures it has um, then I would just use the lipo command and then info and then the name of the framework so we are now in the universal uh, sim directory which is our uh, fat binary or fat framework and then if we inspect you would see that um, our binary is a fat file which represents the or which has um, images for 86 64 and then arm 64 so now that we have our abc framework for both uh, simulator architectures ready we are now ready to create our xc framework including the iphone os framework in this section, we're going to create the XE framework using the FAT simulator framework, including the iPhone, sim iPhone ARM64 um, framework. But before we're going to do that, I'm going to try again the um, XE framework build command that I did earlier where I got the error. So I'm going to hit return, and then um, it returned the same error. Now I'm going to try uh, using the fat simulator framework instead of the two simulator frameworks and I'm going to paste my command in the terminal and uh, you can see that I am ref uh, I'm using the I iPhone arm 64 framework and our fat um, ABC framework framework so I'm going to hit return and then this should uh, create our XC framework as you can see, um, we already have our XE framework, and then in this XE framework, we have the ARM64 for iOS, and then our ARM64 and 8664 simulator um, framework, which is part n now part of our XE framework. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you um, or demonstrate using this XE framework in our project. Now in this section we're going to use the XE framework that we have built. So we're back on Xcode and in our using ABC framework project. What I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to drag the XE framework into the project and make sure that it is copied and then we are going to make sure that in the frameworks libraries and embedded content the framework or XE framework is added and if you want to run this application especially on the device you make make sure that the framework is embedded um, so that a copy of it is included in the application bundle so if I'm going to run this in the uh, simulator I would expect that the um, log text should be printed on, in the debugger and as you can see it says that um, the uh, say your ABC's text is printed in the debugger so there you go um, it's very easy to um, combine uh, two binaries into one uh, binary especially in the case of uh, building an XE framework that wor that will work for an M1 machine or an Intel machine. So if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like and see you next time.